around because you know how I am with names, Laura. I know, it's scary. Um, with professor, them, you don't want to make a mistake. Visitation. I think I said that right. That's you, right? That's right. You got uh -huh. that right. And Professor Rob Evans, right? That's me. And why don't you guys introduce yourselves in the, in the background? Just Professor Mohammed. Okay. Professor David James. Professor Richard Petronelli. Sensei Dave Lindsay. Okay. And uh, Richard and Dave were on the show before, remember? They were yep. beating the living I stuff know. inside of each other. And <laughs> Quite a was terrorizing yeah. demonstration. Um, but, uh, now, so we're going to talk to uh, Professor. Now, how did you get started practicing in the martial arts? How? When I was young, my brother was um, uh, teaching martial arts too in mm -hmm. the Philippines. But when you are young, you know, you say, come on, brother, come on, learn. And then, of course, oh, no. Mm -hmm. you, you know when you are young? Hmm. Your brother. You remember tells, when you were young, Laura? Yeah. When, <laughs> Back before when, you turned when, six. You, when your brother or sister tell you something, you know, no. Oh, no, what do they know? Yeah. Yeah, because they, they don't know the value yet. That's the reason. Ah. But when I, w I left home in... Um, 1926, I went to Hawaii. Mm. In the camp, because the are Filipinos, they're cutting sugar. Mm -hmm. you know? Sometimes they practice stick fighting. But stick I was fighting? not interested yet. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Then 1928, I went to California. Stayed there until World War II. And in 1942, the, world, the war came. Mm. World War II came. That was that was nasty. So I was um, inducted into the service. Inducted into. Inducted into the service. Okay. Oh, to fight in the war. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Um, I become a citizen because of that. I was lucky to become a citizen. It's hard to get a citizenship without any other way. Mm. War. If you they take you in, mm -hmm. you have to become a citizen. Mm. Okay. Um, now you you teach now, right? You yeah, have, I'm still teaching. And how many students do you have now? Oh, it's hard to for me to remember because I started teaching in 1955, September 5th, 1955. I remember it. September 5th. Yeah. What time did you start teaching? Do you remember this? <laughs> exactly. Well, I think I, I think I think it's in the morning because you know, <laughs> in the morning. So 8 a.m. you That's start. Right. You got off. Yeah. Put him in his place. No, in the morning because. Show him the night. In California, 242 14th Street. There, there is a, um, a Presbyterian building there where you know they preach the gospel. Mm. Very religious, but they have some room there, and they give me a sublet and I started teaching. That was your first school? Yeah. It's oh. not really a school because it's a small room and it's only sublet. Mm. So I pay whatever I made, I, I, I give one half of it. <laughs> half and half. Oh, that's Very nice. Very poor, but uh, I love mm. to teach, so I, I did, did mine. Mm. So what type of martial arts do you teach? What are martial arts? I, I teach, um, first in the beginning I was teaching Jiu-Jitsu. And then I took Judo, uh, and then little karate, and then little kung fu. Hmm. Then I, be, I thought I was a good, I uh, could teach them, so I started teaching. Now these different, I mean, you mentioned different styles. Is that from like different parts of countries, or why is there different categories? Well, it, it's just like uh, di different, uh, shall we say, music. Hmm. Yeah. If you could, how many notes in the music? Only seven notes, right? How many compositions could you make in the world? A lot. Uh -huh. Very lot. That's it. Hmm. The martial arts has many different, different concepts. So I adopted, I adopted the concept and made it into one and correlated this different uh, system and it becomes system of system. Hmm. Okay. Um, well, let's, we'll chat with some of these. How about Rob down on the end? Yes. Oh, yes, that's he's a <laughs> Robert was one of my first students when I teach uh, judo, judo, and some karate and that. They were the one who, who studied the first um, part of the system, system because we have three great systems. Mm -hmm. The bijutsu, judo, and then we understood uh, uh, judo, first bijutsu, and then judo, bijutsu, it included some other, um, we call it bianis jitsu. Mm -hmm. And because we have also Anis, Anis Filipinistic fighting, mm -hmm. we could separate the other one, like, just like um, 
a subject, you know what I mean? You could, you, you could maybe learn how to be a criminal mm -hmm. lawyer, but mm -hmm. it's still the subject is related to other art. I mean, um, law, like uh, maybe political law or right. you, you know, maybe business law. Hmm. You see? Okay. So it's different categories. Yeah, different, think, yeah. Different styles. Um, how is Rob? Is he pretty good at doing oh, that? Oh, Robert is uh, was one of the best because of the he best. got good at You're not just saying that because he's here. He's really, <laughs> he's really one of the best. Well, at the time he was. <laughs> I don't know now. In his I, I day. Now. In my day, like I, I don't years ago. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Well. But that was the first, um, uh, first um, system, uh, um, member of the Sertama system. Mm -hmm. Judo, Jiu-Jitsu, and some Karate. Yes. And wow. he could help me by re he relating the um, first system, which is uh, which included the Kata form one right. to twenty-four. If you don't mind, I, he will relate it because I couldn't remember everything. I'm, you know, I'm still thirty-nine, but um, <laughs> <laughs> and you look good. You look good. Day over thirty-eight. I'm th eighty-four, but I'm still thirty-nine. How old? You're eighty-four. Eighty-four. Are you kidding me? You are just coming June. Wow, congratulations. Yes. Thank you. God, I should use you as a role model. I'm all stressed out yes. about 26. You know, I was born in June, Gemini. Gemini with Taurus. Oh, Gemini is um, double personality. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes very, uh, sometimes he's very, um, you know, good and bad also. So it's, but, a, but it's the best of both nature. worlds, in other words. <laughs> well, that's human nature being human, you know. All right, let's talk to some of these guys in the back row. Now, uh, Mohammed, um, are you a student of? Yes, I am. Okay, hey, where's your, do you have a mic back there? Yes. No. <laughs> Just so we can hear with you. Mm -hmm. How is he as a teacher? Is he pretty? Oh, well. Now watch what you say, because he'll look your Because <laughs> uh, he demonstrates with me, and he'll take it out on me later. No, <laughs> okay. no as, as a teacher, he's, he's very open. He'll, he'll give you as much as you can take, you know? Mm -hmm. Because when he goes through the systems of systems, uh, a lot of times you'd be looking for something that you want to learn. Mm. And he kind of feels your pulse and works with you. And mm. he builds on what you already know. Mm. So, okay. I mean, that's a role model for a teacher. Mm. And how about David? David, do you have any... Uh well, I would just like to say that Professor B is definitely the best instructor mm -hmm. in the martial arts that's alive today, oh, okay. period, really? right. period. Wow. He no, doesn't have the kidding. fame, he good. doesn't have the popularity that some of the movie stars may have, but mm -hmm. he is definitely the best instructor and teacher in the martial arts today, wow. definitely. Awesome. Richard, any uh, <laughs> have to agree comments with on Professor that? James, I consider him the best in the world. Uh, I studied many systems, but when I met him, it's like a whole new life, and I still got a ways to go. And wow. Professor Evans here is going to help me finish the way. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Uh -huh. And Dave? Uh, oh, he's opened up the door to a lot of different martial arts I've never even seen before. You're a fantastic instructor. Wow, oh, I can't wait to see the demonstration now. <laughs> <laughs> you got us all hyped. When you say that, um, and, like and when he was the best, you, you, you is, it, is it just like... You're finished? Is the best. <laughs> is, it a ment is it like a mental thing, do you think? Or is it like an innate talent? Or like does somebody become the best just by... Like how you said, is it Robert was the best student? Is it a physical thing, or did you just work harder than everybody else? No, I mean, his system, his system itself, just the fact that he's a researcher. And for someone to sit down for 46 years or 50 years to research a system and take the best entities out of all systems and correlate it, that in itself gives him the advantage of other systems. It's like a, forget it's like a doctor. I mean, you go to the doctor to get medication, but it's the researchers who really did the, the, the work the to develop the information to give you, uh, you know, that medication. Do you think that anybody can excel at this, or are the people that are good, they're just born gifted? Well, for him, it's a whole different category. He's born gifted. He's not only gifted in knowledge, but he's gifted in the way he presents this knowledge to people. See, because it's not just a physical entity that we're dealing with. It's also a spiritual entity that he brings forth upon, amongst us. Mm -hmm. So it's just not that one physical, I can cut you with a knife or I'll teach you to defend. He mm -hmm. teaches his system in dealing with the world in general and mm -hmm. dealing with everyday life. I mean, with this, you have a greater advantage in dealing with society in general. Mm -hmm. It's the only system that I know that brings everybody together, color, religion, and there's never a problem. Mm -hmm. wow. So they should adopt the system all over this country. That's mm -hmm. it. They and should I think they would have a history. Right. <laughs> I think we're going to institute it right That's now. That's right now. There you go. <laughs> Um, and what, we're going to see a demonstration after the commercial, is that? 
I'd just like to add one thing about... Oh, why don't you professor grab the mic, just so we... One Sorry. thing I'd like to add about what Professor Evans says, just for the record, so we can have it down. Not only the fact that he's a teacher because of all the things that Professor Evans said that made him the greatest individual in martial arts that I've ever met, is because he's the most given. Mm. There are a lot of people who do a lot of research, yes. but they keep it to themselves. Absolutely right. This man gives it up, hmm. and he gives it up mm -hmm. to everybody, anybody from the heart, and that's what you don't find. Hmm. You do don't you find a lot of people who give it up. He gives it up. Why do you think um, you're obviously so, so talented? Um, how come you haven't, you don't have the notoriety of the other people that are well known in martial arts? Did you ever want to make a movie or train Bruce Lee or do anything like that? Or kick Chuck Norris's butt yeah. all over the place. <laughs> you, you mean the, the um, uh, ambition of getting to the movie? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have, but only of course um, we, need, uh, we need money, that's the reason. We probably will in the future. Mm. That's cool. not really important to yeah. you. Know. Well, we have some time. contacts in Hollywood. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and they've served us well. Two agents <laughs> on the phone. <laughs> anyway, anyway, not to brag, we were, I was in the war within. Warrior within. Warrior within. Oh, really? Yeah. That was a movie that Chuck Norris was in before yeah. he was famous. Hmm. Huh. Chuck Norris was still just, uh, you know, so. martial arts at that time. Wow. And also, That's it's a collector's item. Anybody yeah. that gets the movie. It's hard to get a hold of. Yeah. No, you gotta look for it. Okay. Um, well, we have to cut to a commercial. When we come back, maybe we'll do a little demonstration. Uh, Laura has volunteered to. I what? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Can you work it? You can do look a few out. flips and. Yeah, and I won't even mess my lipstick. <laughs> Let me tell you. You you want me to do um, my my te technique on you? Oh really? That's far too kind. Could you do I'm what? Very generous <laughs> offer, though. No, I, I will make it easy. Oh, she's a yes, she's a quick will. she's a quick learner. No, just just a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you? I think you think so. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm really not dressed no, for. No, thank no. you. She has a dress this, this, on. This, this, though. this is what they call it. Like, like this look. He's gonna work her from the chair. Yeah. Oh, you're bending. All right. No. No. Don't. What did you say? <laughs> All right, we have to cut your commercial. Then look, look. Oh, yeah, that's funny. Lots of music. Let me tell you. Yes. Yeah. Oh, oh, my God. Be careful now. Laura, you're a true. Oh, true. Oh, true. Yes. Yeah. Let me tell you. <laughs> but you could and learn the it. The knives, too. you want to demonstrate the knives on Frank? Go sure, right ahead. Sure, we do. Actually, we got some knives. Dark if board, you do. Yeah. Oh, my God. What's that? Oh. We have to cut your <laughs> Oh, oh, yeah, you're you okay? Could, <laughs> you, you know, as, as a lady or a woman. I've been injured by an 84 year old yeah, man. He's I gonna, can't no. It. no, you you could also. I'm going to sue you. Li listen. <laughs> Don't <laughs> leave the no, cutlery you could, alone. No, you, when you are eating in a restaurant, right? You're eating, right. and somebody bothers you. Somebody you, bothers you? Yeah. Oh, this would be a you good just trick to jab it into oh there. Oh, my God. Did you, are you, hello, baby. You know what? Right. And, then you say, and you say, hello, baby, too. Yeah. When all of a sudden, boom. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that goes wow. on well in the finest yeah. restaurants, I'm yeah. sure. <laughs> well, that's good. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. A breach of etiquette. And, and what's this big knife here? What is mm -hmm. it? What is it? Oh. oh, we better go to a commercial. Okay, <laughs> yeah. oh, okay. All right, we have to cut to a commercial. Can you guys stick <laughs> around a little bit? Oh, Laura, yeah. we're going to towel her off. And I, okay? I, I could teach her tonight if you want. I think she's learned enough already. Yeah. I think she's learned more than you. I want to be called professor now. That's right. All right, we have to cut to commercial, and we'll be right back with uh, more of our guests. Let's give a round of applause. Yes. Oh. Oh.